Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. New data about the eruption came in and it shows a very sharp decline in activity. Is the eruption ending? I'll take a better look at it in the data and detail section. Another reason not to work on the lava field from the 2021 eruption was brought up on August the 16th, when lava from that eruption started flowing again. Not from the main crater or anything, but from the lava field itself. How does that happen? The path towards the eruption is being worked on step by step, making it easier for people to pay the visit. But the path to the eruption is still a difficult one which people don't respect. An example is of an individual which chose to wear flip-flops for the hike because their hiking boots didn't match their fit. I highly recommend having some good hiking boots and to be careful when hiking up there, as it's so easy to sprain your ankle. Anyways, let's talk about all of the recent data. So, due to the good weather conditions on August 15th and 16th, our experts were able to update the stats on the eruption by doing a flyby measuring the size of the lava field. Currently, it covers 1.277 square kilometers. Then they got data from a satellite, allowing them to estimate the volume of the lava, which is just over 11 million cubic meters, which then allows them to estimate the lava discharge between these recent measurements and the previous one. The results are kind of shocking. Just as I uploaded my last volcano update, or on August 15th, new measurements came in which showed the first sign of drastic decrease in activity. When lava discharge had gone from 11 cubic meters per second from August 4th to 13th to only 4.1 cubic meters per second from August 13th to 15th. The latest measurements released on August 16th suggest that the lava discharge is only 2 cubic meters per second in the 24 hour span from August 15th to 16th. These numbers are very low and basically a bare minimum for an eruption. So, is the eruption ending? Well, it's not certain. One thing about these measurements over a short period of time is that they're not that accurate. Hopefully our experts will do more precise ones soon. While activity is definitely decreasing, it is unclear if it's actually as low as these recent measurements. The closing of all but just two events definitely takes its toll. The real lava discharge at the moment is probably around 3 to 5 cubic meters per second, which is the same as the 2021 eruption in its early stages. This could just be a temporary low and activity could increase, either through the formation of new fissures, like we saw in 2021, or just that the two active events fix their game. But I think the latter scenario is a little bit more likely, as the behavior of the eruption now is very similar to how the 2021 eruption behaved in May of 2021, or two months after it started. Then, activity was focused on one large main crater that had pulsating activity, followed with short periods where the lava strokes were very tall and spectacular, sort of like a geyser. Then, the geyser activity ceased, and the activity became calmer with long periods of lava output, followed by ever-increasing pauses where lava output was zero. And on September 18th, it took a pause and never resumed. It's going to be interesting to see if activity follows a similar path, and if the strokes will become as tall as in the previous eruption, but the tallest reached over 300 meters. Then there's the weird phenomenon some of you guys might have heard of. The old lava has started to flow again. As I said earlier, it's not from the old crater but instead is due to the new lava, which is flowing over the old lava field, where in some areas it has started to dig into it. This ends up cracking and pushing the old lava field, sort of squeezing old lava, which is still glowing hot since lava is an excellent insulator, back onto the surface so it flows again. This can be very dangerous as people could be walking on the old, seemingly safe lava field. Besides the new, slow-moving lava tongues, and then, all of a sudden, lava spews out at speeds you can't outrun. And, in an unlucky scenario, this could be fatal. This is most likely a rather rare occurrence, since it's not common to have two different eruptions in the same area in such a short time span. It's going to be exciting to see what we'll experience in the upcoming days. Will the eruption end? Will the power increase? Or will it just continue at this pace, always making us think it's about to die out? We'll just have to wait and see. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions 
in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.